Welcome to Mission E and welcome to the converted Volkswagen Polo with the 150 kilowatt or 204 horsepower electric motor and 41 kilowatt hours of battery. All right, so let's do a quick introduction of the Volkswagen Polo. Uh, so this is my first car. It's a 2009 Volkswagen Polo 6R and it was originally equipped with a 1.4 liter uh, petrol engine with 86 horsepower. And now it's kind of a quick car. Um, so there's the Polo badge and I made it into a e-polo badge, uh, which is quite fun. I'm still going to change this. Um, and here we have the Mission E logo as well. So from the outside, you wouldn't necessarily think that this car is electric, which was the case uh, with designing this car. Uh, I wanted this car to, to still feel very authentic and uh, original and that is the case with this car i think all right so let's take a look under the hood because that is where a lot of the magic happens so as i said from the outside you don't really see a lot and then here we have the mission e drive train so this is a integrated motor controller for a three-phase ac motor uh, with a inverter and also the charger so that is really really cool uh, it is mounted to the original gearbox we overhauled the whole gearbox we mounted new bearings and everything so everything is fresh and new and the car also feels like it is um, yeah i think it looks quite sleek in this car you do see that it just barely fits uh, it is quite a lot of electronics that need to be put in a car like this uh, and it's not the biggest car <laughs> as you can see all right so now let's check out the boot space as this is actually uh, still pretty usable uh, so right here you can see that the boot of the car is actually not really different at all uh, so here we have the mission e laptop just to check the battery if we want to uh, and here we actually even have the full false floor uh, and we managed to engineer this car in such a way that we keep use of the full luggage compartment and all the batteries are stored uh, under the rear seats and under the spot where you usually would find a spare tire. All right, so here we have the charging port of the Polo, uh, which you can see is the regular fuel filler cap. Uh, but now we have a type 2 charging socket uh, for up to 20 kilowatts of power um, and very soon we will also add CCS fast charging so that you can quick charge at a fast charging station. Alright, so now let's check out the interior of the Volkswagen Polo and as you can see this is a regular Polo comfort line. Uh, so we have the leather steering wheel with the very nice metal inlay uh, we have a pretty nice feeling dash uh, and we have an alt radio but we're going to mount this with carplay very soon um, and the interior is not really changed at all and the only thing that is different is this led light which indicates that this, this car is currently in drive mode and for the rest this is just your regular polo so and what is also nice is we have the fully functional uh, driver's display. Uh, that is because we are uh, we went into the canvas system. And we were able to change everything accordingly to the electric drivetrain. So we have the revs that just uh, go on with the speedo. Um, and this is still under construction. We are working on that, uh, but this will indicate the uh, amount of range that you still have in this car. So in the rear seats are just what you would expect from a Polo. Uh, it is really decent. You have uh, nice comfy seats and a lot of room in the back. And underneath here, you can kind of see 
where the batteries are mounted. So the batteries are mounted right here. We designed, engineered, and manufactured a battery bar that is able to fit exactly there. And we managed to put in 41 kilowatt hours of battery, which gives you a range of 300 kilometers. All right, so now let's take the electric polo for a drive. All right, so now a short launch from first gear. I usually drive in second. Uh, but for launching, like for everyday driving, second is, is fine because then you can go from zero to around 200 kilometers an hour. But if you really want to have the punch from the get go, uh, you can use first. And first is okay for, yeah, from like uh, zero to 100 kilometers an hour. But this is a short uh, pull of the Polo. And this is from the second gear. And as you can see, it's perfectly fine, although not very quick from the get-go, but now it is really pulling hard. All right, so, and uh, about the power of this car. Um, so as you can see on the specs right here, it has 150 kilowatts of power. That is 204 horsepower. Um, and it delivers 220 newton meters of torque via the original five-speed transmission to the front wheels. Um, and in the first gear, it's kind of hard. In second gear, it pulls really nice throughout the whole rev range of the motor. Um, and the electric motor has a range from zero to 13,000 RPM. So it's a relatively high revving electric motor, which gives this Polo a lot of power for the size. And I think you can really say that this is an electric GTI in terms of the power output. All right, so that was the short review of the Volkswagen Polo. Uh, and if you like these kind of videos, then please let us know. And if you have any ideas of new uh, content for Mission E, uh, if you want to know more about our projects, conversions uh, or other engineering stuff please let us know um, and then we'll take a look at it and maybe we'll make more content like this but for now thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one ciao